settle together to start a game for the first time since December of 2019. Kyler Yamamoto, Tyson Berry, and Darnell Nurse round out the Euler Quintet. Yamamoto back defensively, rides him out of the play, curled back behind the net for Tierney, centered, and that went off the pads of Koskinen and ultimately hopped into the corner. Dadnoff played it back to the point. Thomas Shabbat wheels it wide. Rebound Dadnoff turns, fires, and scores. 56 seconds to the game. Evgeny Dadnoff, who'd really been struggling with just one goal, one point in his last 10. A long stare from Dave Tippett from the bench, looking at Miko Koskin. These are the types of goals early on you don't want to give up. This is a nothing shot by Dadanoff, and he just throws it to the net from a sharp angle. And if you watch Koskin, it looks like he's in position, but it finds its way under the pad and through into the net. Just a real tough one to give up early on. That's got to be saved early in the game. Oilers, Ennis unable to keep that puck in. Hip check by Karras sent Josh Norris flying, and that's going to be a penalty. Maybe a clipping call. You don't often see it. They're going to call it a trip. Sometimes you'll see. Here we go. And now we've got Goodbranson going right after Kara and landing a quick right hand. But yep. Kara comes back and strings him out. Misses over the top of the right hook, as does Goodbranson. Goodbranson went right to Kara. Misses with a thunderous right. They've got each other tied up. Now a right hook does land. Trying to get Kara's headgear off. Lands a couple of chopping rights. Kara answers with a right hook of his own. And now they trade right hands. The Lions were looking to move in. They're going to let it go here. Two big guys. Left jab and a chopping right misses from Goodbranson. Now he lands a right hook. But Kara comes back with a right of his own. And Kara standing up pretty well for himself against the hulking six foot five Eric Goodbranson. To jar Kara to a fight, and Kara eventually just says, okay, listen, we're gonna go. Edmonton, Edmonton number 16, two-minute minor penalty for tripping, five minutes for fighting. Clogged up in the Ottawa zone and eventually chipped up the right-hand boards and back to center. Nurse to Barry, streaking in McDavid. Cuts behind, then try to short side pass to Dry settle bounced in front. And McDavid will collect this one. Back to Darnell or short. With a brilliant redirect in Edmonton's even. Yamamoto seventh. They stay with it. You're going to see dry settle right there. It's Yamamoto with the speed. And for McDavid, just gets it back to the blue line. And Darnell Nurse doesn't try and do too much. Get it by that four. Make sure it gets down into the danger zone. Just a little wrister with a purpose. And Yamamoto, a perfect little redirection. Handcuffs to court. And it beats him to tie this game 1-1. Move by Chase on right there and a good save and tight by Decor. Takes a pass, has a man heading for the net. It's Nurse, shoots and scores himself. Joey Decor beaten blocker side and Alex Chase on against his former team, his fifth of the year. Puts Edmonton ahead for the first time. And Decor just a little bit of a response afterward. And then on the transition is Ottawa trying to get a change on the penalty kill. Maybe a little bit too soon to go to the bench. Allows Chase on to walk in and a two on one and he just fires it short side. Perfect shot. Head up. Don't force a pass. You can see that Zub is down and he just picks the corner. Tight check in here in the second period. Both teams have really started to buckle down. That was an excellent shift by Edmonton on a roll push by Ottawa. Tourist to try side of shoots and scores just inside the right goal post. Dreisaitl is off the side after eight games without a goal. That's his 11th, and Edmonton extends to a 3-1 lead. Edmonton weathers a storm, gets out of the zone themselves, and then on the next shift, it's just a quick oh. outlet pass down the ice. Turris, who's had a real fine game here, maybe his best as an oiler in the offensive zone, has found a lot of people with passes. Nice little pass into Dreisaitl on the stick, off the stick. Look at that. No chance for Decord to really read the fact that he's going to shoot that puck. Ennis trying to weave his way around Zaitsev, gets some help. Nugent Hopkins crowding Colin White off balance, still makes the play to Shabbat, three on two, Ottawa. Loading up, wrist shot, score! Yeah. Top shelf, Tim Stutzla, beauty. And on first look on this shot by Stutzla, that's a goal scorer's goal, but it definitely looked like it changed direction, certainly changed pace. It looked like it kind of was wobbling once it went to the net. Transition didn't look like much, but a nice drive right through, guess who? Thomas Shabbat, the defenseman, once again driving through the middle. Little drop pass, and Stutzla just knows where to go. A little hang up there to make sure he's on side, changes the angle. Nice little toe drag around to get that shot through. Go off Barry. And right there, I think it rides up the stick of Tyson Barry as he tries to get in there with the poke check.
And right there, yep. Got it out to center. Watson shoveled ahead. Matthew Peck. Now it's to Zingle. His shot tipped in front, reaching, shooting, and a save made on Pekka on that midair swipe by Miko Koskinen. Riley, nowhere to go. Six seconds. Connor Brown inching it ahead. Branch from long shot. Glove by Koskinen. This game is over. Final eight to three. Ottawa two. That's five straight for the Oilers over the Sands.